Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here, back again with another trailer for our virtual RV show this year. And behind me is the all new 2021 No Boundaries 16.6. This is one of the really cool floor plans that Nobo offers. It's probably one of the best off-road trailers that you can get into for this price point. Let's dive in and have a look. So first thing I wanna start off with is the overall length and weight of this trailer. You're looking at about 21 and a half feet from pin to bumper and you're roughly around 3,500 pounds dry weight. So if you have a mid-size or a large size SUV, heck even a big or a half ton or something like that, you're gonna have no problem taking this into any campsite you desire. Now let's talk a little bit about the construction behind this Nobo here. Some of the things you're gonna see is that a complete aluminum structure here and one of the really crucial parts that Nobo dives into when they start building their trailers is Asdell wallboard. This is really cool stuff. It's actually a lot lighter. It's moisture wicking, so it's a lot better than that old wood material that they used to use in behind the fiberglass. And of course, it's environmentally friendly too. Now, when we talk a little bit about the construction on this Nobo 2, one of the things that we love to talk about is the, is the fiberglass cap on the front here, which I'll show you. So, if you look at the front of this trailer, you'll notice it actually has this nice uh, pushed out look to it, and that's because this is a full molded fiberglass cap. And what that's gonna do for you is it helps protect the roof seal on the top there. Um, and it also, it, it, when it protects that roof seal, it keeps it from uh, forming any kind of water damage in the front side of this trailer. Um, another cool thing that you gain out of something like this is the full windshield. This is actually automotive grade uh, windshield glass too. So if you do have a rock that somehow gets up this high and hits the windshield and chips it, it's always repairable. Um, follow me through this way. We'll look at some of the exterior features on here and continue to talk a little bit about the construction on here. Um, for an example, on this particular side of the trailer, you'll see it's got a beautiful Schwintec slide out on this floor plan. And when I say Schwintec, this is actually a four corner gear track system. So it's really nice because it pulls that slide in and pushes it out equally on all four points. And the other thing that is really nice about this Schwintec is if it ever comes out of alignment, you can simply bring it in and out two or three times and it'll actually help auto correct itself. Now, some of the really cool features that we also talk about on this Nobo and we, we've ordered it in from the factory with is it's got an enclosed underbelly with its, which is spray foam insulated and they even put 12 volt heat pads on all of your tanks. So if you wanna take this out in the early spring or late fall, you're set to do so. Um, have a look at this front storage compartment here. This is actually a really nice feature. It's a full pass-through storage compartment. And like you can see, even inside here, that a nice exposed aluminum framing, so you know the trailer is built very well and very light. Um, as we work our way back, you'll have your outside hot and cold shower here. So this works great if you have pets, um, or of course if the kids are maybe down at the beach or something like that and you wanna spray them off. Um, you know, it's a nice way to just kinda keep things clean on the outside before you go in. Now, one of the things we also talk about too is the wheel wells on a Nobo. This wheel well is exposed and it actually works as a step. So what you can do here is it has a 300 pound weight rating. You can actually jump right up on here and access the roof or anything that you may need to. One of the really crucial features on this particular floor plan of Nobo is they give you a pack and play storage door. This is super nice because you can actually open this door up here and what it allows you to do is lift up this bottom bunk and you can utilize all of this space inside the trailer. <clears throat> So it works great if you have uh, like bikes or coolers or things like that, um, you'll always have a place to put it. On the very back side here, there's a little attachment for a water hookup and this is actually a black tank flush system. So if you're unfamiliar with what that does, you can hook a garden hose up to this connection and it completely flushes out the sewer tank inside this trailer. So it keeps your anodes in there nice and clean so you're getting accurate readings all the time. Plus when you go to flush that toilet, you're not getting that breath of fresh air back inside your trailer. On the back side here, you'll have a ladder which you can access to your roof and Nobo gives you a 500 pound roof capacity. This is really, really cool because another feature that Nobo introduces is they give you the option of doing a adjustable roof rack. This particular trailer that we have here has that adjustable track in there and you can simply add on the roof rack attachment. Of course, you're gonna have a full bumper here with your spare tire and you'll even have a pre-wire for a backup camera and all exterior LED lighting, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> Follow me around the front side of the trailer now and we'll have a look at some of the cool exterior features on the front and then we'll jump inside and have a look through there too. 
Couple of things I did miss on the front side of this trailer. You'll have a 20 pound propane tank. You're gonna have a power tongue jack on here with an LED light, so it helps you hooking up in the dark. And they even give you an exterior gas connect here, which runs directly off of your 20 pound tank. So it's nice if you wanna bring that portable barbecue with you, or even if you may see that there's a, uh, like a fire ban on, you can absolutely bring a portable fire pit with you, hook that up too. It's a very, very nice feature to have. <clears throat> Now as we work our way to the front, you'll see that other entrance to your storage door. And one little feature that I like to point out, because it's really cool and it makes a big difference, is all of your latches for your storage doors are actually magnetically assisted. Great, because over the years, those little plastic ones always tend to come apart. So this is something, again, a little detail that makes a world of difference. Now all your windows throughout the Nobos are all tinted. And what you'll all also notice too, is this new door. This is very cool. It's actually a full glass door here and it really cleans the look up of this. Um, of course, you'll have a screen door on the inside of here of two and your inside window for the door is actually ready for a shade if you wanted to add one of those on. <clears throat> Just above that, you're gonna have your full power awning here with an LED light strip. This is also an adjustable awning too. So if you, so you wanna bring this out and maybe tilt it to one side for the rain or whichever, add more shade, you can easily do that. Now as we work our way back over here, you'll notice you'll have a nice little uh, railing here where you can attach on an outside barbecue, but they even do one more and they give you an outside high pressure spray port. This is awesome because this trailer is fitted for that real off-road style camper, so if they want to bring bikes with them or kayaks, this is a great tool to use for cleaning down all of your attachments and toys and things like that. <clears throat> Now, another thing that we're gonna talk about before we jump inside is the suspension system behind a Nobo, which makes it very unique. This is what we call an independent rubber ride torsion suspension. So the big benefits that you have, especially on a trailer like this, is that independence factor. If you wanna take it into the back country where you have some pretty rough roads, it's gonna roll just like the vehicle down that uh, unusual terrain, we'll call it. Plus, they also help reduce the vibrations from passing back inside your trailer like you may see with a leaf spring axle. Um, of course, Nobo with this particular package has the off-road kit on it, so you have that 15-inch off-road tire also. Follow me inside and we'll have a look at some of the cool features in here. So first thing you're gonna notice coming inside this Nobo is with this, this slide out here on the kitchen, you have a lot of interior space for a trailer that's only 21 and a half feet. So like you'll see near the back there, you're gonna have two bunk beds, you'll have your bathroom there, and up at the front, you're gonna have your, uh, your master bedroom, we'll call it here with your queen size bed. One of the really cool things with Nobo too is their mattresses for the front like this. This is actually a true uh, queen size bed. So this is a 60 by 80, not your standard RV queen that you sometimes hear about. Um, underneath, you're gonna have some lit up storage too. And then of course, up above here, you're gonna have some nice lit up cabinetry. It really adds that extra look to this brand, which is really cool. Um, speaking of your cabinets too, what you'll also notice is they're all solid wood core cabinets, so it's that really nice, well put together material, not that paperboard stuff that you see falling apart over the years. Plus, they have hidden hinge construction. This one even has a little gas strut in it, so you know that you're looking at something that's a little bit of a higher fit and finish out of Nobo compared to a lot of com uh, comparables in this sizing. Now, on my right side here, you'll have your kitchen. And what Nobo does in their kitchens, you'll have this beautiful gas and electric fridge with a stainless steel front here and you'll even have a little ice chest in the top. So very well set up if you wanna go out dry camping because you have the option now of running this on propane or even just plugging the trailer in to operate it. Right beside it too, you're gonna to have a nice two burner cooktop here and of course your sink with a beautiful stainless steel high rise faucet. Now, one of the things I like to point out too in a Nobo kitchen is the countertops. This is actually a seamless press membrane in here. So it's not that cheaper T-mold stuff that you see that comes apart over the years of use. This is gonna hold up for a test of time. Just underneath this countertop, you're also gonna have this beautiful microwave. And if correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is actually um, a convection microwave too. Because like you can see in a smaller trailer like this, without, with, if you were to have an oven in here, it would take up a tremendous amount of space. And then usually your microwave would be up here. So it's a great way to give you both options, but still utilizing as much space as possible. Now, just where you guys are sitting now, you'll have your uh, nice table area. 
this can actually break down into an additional bed for you. So it's very simple to do so. You just lift it off these pedestals here. This table is gonna set down into place and you can use the cushions to fill in even another sleepings area. So when you look at it all together, this trailer comfortably sleeps two, four, five people. Now, right above that also, you're gonna have some additional cabinetry here. And that pretty much wraps up your main area. Now let's have a look at these bunk beds real quick while you guys are over here. And the one nice thing that we like to point out too is both the bunk beds have a window in them and they're both opening style windows. So each kid can have a nice cross breeze in here, so keep it nice and cool. They'll both have their uh, the USB plugins inside the bunks so you don't necessarily have to pick out who's your favorite child. And it actually does have a 300 pound max car, uh, capacity out of these bunks. So if you do want to sleep an adult in here, no problem. And it's cool, they each have their own uh, little curtain that goes across also. Now I'll let you look into the bathroom there and I'll talk about some really cool features that Nobos offers. So first thing that you'll notice walking into the bathroom is you're going to have a beautiful corner shower. Now with that corner shower, they do a nice plastic surround on the shower there. So it's helping keep the water inside the shower and not damaging your uh, exterior wallpaper. But they also introduce a cool system called the shower miser. This is a beautiful system that helps you save water because it actually flows the water back through the hot water tank and circulates it while it's heating up. There's a plenty of storage in here too. You're gonna to have a foot flush toilet um, and of course a uh, nice area underneath your sink for some extra storage. And last but not least in that, kit, in that bathroom, you're gonna have a 12 volt max air fan. It's a great way to help cool down this trailer. It is fitted with air conditioning, but of course if you're that dry camper that doesn't have access to power, that 12 volt fan is really gonna help you out a lot. There's of course also a furnace in here which runs off of a digital thermostat and that digital thermostat again is gonna operate your air conditioning. Thanks again for watching guys. You know, I really hope you like this Nobo here. If you have any questions, make sure you come down and ask us or even give us a call ask us any questions you want, um, ask us about our RV show pricing that's going to be on right now. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'm Ty the RV Guy and happy camping.